salt has been demonized for so long and have you ever gone over to somebody's house and have dinner and there's no seasoning in the food and there's no salt shaker to be found and you don't know what to say stick around and let's figure out what is that all about this typically where this comes from is people go to the doctor they got high blood pressure and the doctor says you got to cut salt out of your diet right so let's talk about the different kinds of salt table salt is just ionized salt it's cooked it is nasty it is not good for us typical table salt the only thing that salt will have table salt is it does have iodine in it so if you don't have iodine say you're vegan and you're not eating seaweeds then you are going to have basically no iodine in your diet which can be a real problem because iodine is mostly found in egg yolks uh fish uh, seafood, shrimp, things like that. Those are the high sources of iodine. So just be conscious of that, okay? Um, and also, see, so that type of salt just has iodine in it. And other than that, it's stripped of all the minerals because of the way it's processed. It's heavily, heavily processed, right? So when we deal with sea salts, sea salts are much better for us because they have much more minerals, up to 84 minerals in them. And that really is what our body needs. Our bodies need these trace minerals. They're the spark plugs of life. So I just want to take you some of through my favorite salt that I use, okay? So the Redmond's here, you can't get it in the 10 pound pails anymore, but it is on our website. Um, and then you have, this is a great salt. So I've used my, my pendulum on this. It, my body likes this more than Celtic sea salt, okay? Um, and then we also have Mackay. Mackay is a uh, Celtic sea salt, but it comes from, see how it says Mackay on the bottom there? That is a high end salt. They use submarines 2,000 feet below the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii to, to get this salt. So the beauty of that is there's no plastics. There's no microplastics in this because it's being cultivated 2,000 feet below the surface of the water where there's no plastic. So I really like this salt. If you can afford it, it is very tasty, amazing salt. Redmond's, because it's not, it was an old ancient find sea salt okay so this is an old um, ocean bed where this is mined from in utah this is a high quality salt and it's not going to have microplastics in it because it's now in utah so you're not getting that i wouldn't take any salt sea salts really out of the pacific ocean personally because if you look at the garbage uh, the pacific garbage patch you know that's 1.6 million kilometers and all that is breaking down into microplastics and when they, how they make sea salt is they flood areas it, de it dehydrates and then they scrape the salt okay so that could be an issue in the Pacific. So I would stick to Atlantic sea salts. Uh, Celtic has come up fairly good for a long time. Um, they're not horrible, right? But again, there is going to be more microplastics in this. But if that's all you can get, that's all you can get. Morton is another one that comes out of the UK. Really high quality salt as well. So don't be afraid of good quality salt. Don't be afraid to add it into your meals because it's gonna make your food taste much better and it's going to be really good for you. Those minerals are so needed. We are lacking them in our other foods, our vegetables and stuff, for example. The soils are so depleted. So where are you getting your minerals and your trace minerals from? It's gotta be from a good high quality salt. So um, your Allies in Health wellness store, you just click on our link, your allies in health. We have an Amazon American store and an Amazon Canadian store. We and go under um, healthy food and that's where all the salt is, guys. If you want to look for what we recommend, that'll be there for you guys to find. Let me know in the comments. I love salt. I love Icelandic salts. There's, there's all these amazing salts around the world. I want to know from you guys, what are your favorite salts? Where do they come from? Have a great day. Much love.